Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Today I want to show you how to build a custom wind curve for your wind turbine in your classic charge controller. If the turbine curve is not already in there by default from us and you need to build your own, that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. To do that, we need to go to the main menu button, we need to go to the mode, press enter, and we need to go to graph, right soft key. Now we need to go to the memory and we want to pick memory location number one. I always start at one and build my way up to nine. Uh, we're going to use number one. If you're not in number one, you scroll down. One through nine comes first. All the presets come after that. So here, you'll see we have a cursor to the left and we have values, X and Y. X being amperage, Y being voltage. So now I'm going to recall curve number one so we can change it. So now we can change this wind curve. We're inside curve number one. You can see we're at step three. Moving the left and right arrows changes the steps. See the bottom is changing. Step one, step two, three, four, so on and so forth. So now we'll go back and we'll just pick step two to manipulate. You'll see the voltage is at 60 volts. That is the input voltage from the turbine to the classic charge controller at that point. The amperage is at 4 amps. That is the output current from the classic towards the batteries. We've got amperage set. So if we use the up and down arrow, we change the amperage. If we want to change the voltage of that step, we use the right soft key to switch between amps and volts. Now we can switch the voltage of that step instead of the amperage. This holds true through the whole curve. Each step of the way, you can set the voltage, you can set the amperage. You can also do this with the local app software in an Excel spreadsheet. One thing I want to point out, the graph has to continually rise, so you cannot use a step farther down the graph that is lower than the step previous to that. And again, I want to stress that the steps are amperage out of the classic and voltage into the classic. 1 through 16, step 1, let me get down here. Step one is zero amps. The amperage on step one is not adjustable. This is your cut-in voltage of your turbine. This is the point the classic will wake up and be ready to track your turbine. This will be, like I say, cut-in. Step two will be the first useful power of the turbine. And then you want to go through as many as you can up to step 16, the highest voltage of the turbine and the amperage. When you're done building your curve, we want to pick where we want to save it. Uh, we've already got something in one, so we're going to go to two. Use the up arrow to change to memory location two. Click the left soft key labeled save. We just wrote that to memory location two. Now we're going to press enter and write it to the classic so that we can run that curve on our turbine right now. That concludes building a custom curve for your wind turbine on the classic charge controller. Until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Thank you for watching.